BTS will be reunited with its army of fans as the South Korean boy band on Monday announced four upcoming concerts at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Four concerts have been scheduled for November 27, November 28, December 1 and December 2 at the new venue that serves as the home of the Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles Chargers of the National Football League. SoFi Stadium opened in September 2020 and has a capacity of 70,240 that can be expanded up to 100,240 for major events such as the Super Bowl. The concerts will be the first chance for BTS to perform live in front of its army since the conclusion of the group's Love Yourself World Tour in October 2019. The in-person concerts will be presented under national and regional health regulations and circumstances amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. BTS also recently announced a live streaming concert BTS Permission to Dance on stage that will be held on October 24. The South Korean group debuted in June 2013 and its name is an acronym of Bongtan Son Yondan, or Beyond the Scene. The members of BTS are RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. BTS has racked up five number one Billboard Hot 100 singles in less than a year and was named Time Magazine's Entertainer of the Year for 2020. The group last week delivered a speech at the United Nations in New York City that included a plug for vaccines, young people and the Earth's well-being. Addressing the stage for a sustainability event, the seven-member musical juggernaut appeared before the renowned green marbled backdrop in the General Assembly Hall to help promote United Nations goals for 2030 including, ending extreme poverty, preserving the planet and achieving gender equality. Every choice we make is the beginning of change, not the end, said RM, the band's leader. South Korean President Moon Jae-in introduced the pop stars as special presidential envoys and an exceptionally outstanding group of young men who are connecting with the youth across the world. The gravity of the moment wasn't lost on the musicians standing before world leaders and you. N Secretary General Antonio Guterres Nerves were evident when band member Jimin stumbled over his words while talking about young people trying to navigate the pandemic. Jimin apologized before taking a breath to recollect himself. It was a moment that prompted the BTS army of fans to rally behind him in a show of support on social media. The artists took turns on stage during their seven-minute speech. But it wasn't all about UN goals. The group also unveiled a new music video for its current hit single Permission to Dance, which was filmed at Yo! N headquarters in New York. The singers groaned, don't need to talk the talk, just walk the walk while dancing their way from the General Assembly Hall to the garden overlooking the East River. The speech last week marked the group's second appearance at the U. N. The band took part in an event in 2018, when RM spoke about its work with UNICEF, 